know if I say something, I mean it. These things happen. Yeah. If I ever said I'm never scared, just know I mean it. This is my progress with my Dana Sphere. Uh, the first one I had made out of paper, uh, of course it eventually blew apart. Uh, one night we had a storm and I came out and only about half of it was left. Uh, so I went ahead and moved on to the next step and started making one out of metal. This one is two sides from a scrapped washing machine. And I'm currently looking for another washing machine so I can get the other two blades. What I did here, let me stop this. Man, it's actually hard to stop. Um, the way the washer was, it had these folds in it real nice already. So I kept that edge and then laid out my design the same way I did with the one on paper. And cut the metal. And it took a while to get it bent just right, but I did. And then, of course, I put some supports on there. Go underneath. See that? It wasn't as easy to bend the metal as I thought it was going to be, uh, just to get it just the right shape. Uh, but after I did the first one, it was a lot easier doing the second one. And with the two blades, we're probably in about five to ten mile an hour winds now. And when it gets blowing good, I can't stop that by hand. If I grab that gear that's on there, I can't stop it. So I can't wait till I get another washing machine to cut up and get two more blades on it and get a piece of metal in the center there instead of that wood and we'll go from there. I've noticed with just the two blades it's kind of choppy. You can tell when the one blade's coming back around into the wind it slows down until the uh, other blade you know gets pushed by the wind. You can really see it. With the four blades, it's a lot smoother. I had this little motor mounted to it, just gear to gear. And from what I estimated, I was getting about 60 RPMs from the wind turbine. And with that gear that's on there, and this one on here, I was getting somewhere around 2 to 250 RPMs out of this. This is a 24 volt DC motor and on the meter I was able to get up to about two and a half volts so definitely not the type to use but it's something I had so I tried it just to see what would happen so that's where I'm at so far with this once I get two more blades on it and get some metal square stock for the uh, center support and then figure out how I'm going to get metal supports for each blade tip um, once I get all that figured out and put together, I'll put another video up, and that's that.